Hello there! This is Rom Wills back at you with yet another video. Don't allow a woman to settle for you. This is very important because a woman is generally going to have two types of men that she wants. Though that one that she wants that's, you know, whatever the case, whatever her fantasy man is, whatever her ideal man is, whatever. And then she has a man that she settles for. And women actually settle for a lot of guys. Now, I'm known for talking about select and non-select. Uh, many non-select guys that get married and maybe even have a baby that might be theirs. I do mean might be theirs. But then a lot of women had women had that one guy they still thinking about. And let me be clear, that's not necessarily the guy who imprinted them or the one of the men who imprinted them. Let's be clear, an imprint is a combination of three men. And a lot of guys have said, well, that's the one man that imprinted them. Well, they don't necessarily want him. He might not have been good in bed. Or the man who resembles an imprint uh, profile. He might not be good in bed. Shoot, she might not want that guy, you know? She just, all she has really with the imprint is a natural attraction. A natural attraction, even if she don't like it, that don't mean she's gonna get with him. But every woman has a man that she consciously wants to get with. Shoot, she might have even met him, might have been in a relationship with him or something. Dude had her hollering or whatever the case, whatever he was bringing. You don't wanna be that man that she settles for because you're going to have problems. Now, it might seem good and you know what? She might give you good sex, have a couple of your babies. But as soon as that man, ideal man comes around, that's when she might be like having some problems with you. All of a sudden, little stuff that didn't mean anything, she's finding a reason to get out. Remember, women initiate most divorces. Women are the ones who leave most relationships. And it's usually a guy in the background, that ideal guy. And you gotta know that, you gotta know that, you gotta have that conversation. Because if, look, here, here's how you tell if you number one with her. Cause I know some guys gonna ask, how is she treating you? Are you getting the best sex from her? You know, is she calling you up? Is she going out her way for you? Like in the bedroom, is she giving you prizes? She cooking you, making you that plate? She putting you on a pedestal. You know that you're like you doing your mission in life. She is in submission to your mission without you saying anything. She is in cooperation to your operation. You gotta pay attention to all of those things. Now, what happens is, now in all fairness with that, a woman can still do that and you still, she's still settling. But you ain't getting something out of it. But what happens in those cases where she's not doing all that? when you not number one, where you had to chase her a little bit extra. Like, now here's, here's a common example. Here's a common example. Because I remember I met this guy back in the day, right? And um, he was married to this woman and, you know, ostensibly had a baby with her, you know? Maybe had a baby with her, I don't know. Cause looking back, that might not have been his child. He actually said to us, he told a group of us, he was like, yeah, you know, she used to deal with all these men, but I finally won her over. Basically, she settled for him. After she done had her fun and everything, she's settling. In fact, you get some women, they'll usually settle for a certain guy, like uh, in that baby making. When they get that baby tick, all of a sudden, some guys start looking good to him that didn't look too good to him at first. Then you also get the obvious where women might have messed with that uh, thug dude or uh, bad boy or pretty boy, whatever. And then maybe even had some babies, all of a sudden they, they send you a text talking about, hey, big head. <laughs> you know what? You don't want to be that man because that, that's never really your woman. That's really never your woman. See, and I talked about that before. I talked about this book I had by Russell Price. I shout him out called You Might Not Have a Woman If. He's never reprinted that book. I, should, I hit him up. I remember I did an episode about that. I'll put that in the description box. You Might Not Have a Woman If. And it's very funny and everything. But he, he had found out about that because he was a police officer. And he was dealing with a lot of domestic stuff. 
And a lot of guys really don't have a woman. They think it's their woman, but they really don't. Like I said, I'll put a, a link to that particular video I did ages ago in the description box. That was, man, that's when Ron wasn't as sophisticated, you know, with the 4K camera and everything. <laughs> I think I, rec I think I recorded that on a computer, uh, on a, uh, a desktop computer, I think. But anyway, it's still, it's still, it's still the thing, right? You know, a lot of guys, they really, the woman ain't really feeling them. They think the woman feeling them because they don't have the experience. Like you got, unfortunately, you got a lot of guys who've never really had a woman really show that she's really into them. You got a lot of guys who think it's normal to have sex with, a, like pancake sex maybe once a week, even if they a boyfriend or her boyfriend or something. Or they think it's normal that the woman say, well, I ain't gonna cook for you. Trust me, they'll cook for the man they want. They'll learn how to cook, take a lesson in everything. They're gonna do everything they can for a man they want. But the man they settle for, it's only when they can't get the man they want and they feel like, well, let me settle with this guy. You know, they can't get Mr. Goodbar, you know, they can't get him to settle and everything. Or they got kids or something. It's like, look, these kids need a father. They need some help, you know? I talked about that before. They're looking for that cleanup man. That's not you. That's not you. Look, I'm gonna tell you something now, and I'll be talking about that this week. Uh, there's always the right woman for you. That's why I talk about your tribe. Like a, a big thing, I talk about those women have a natural attraction for you. And if you got your shit together, there's always gonna be some woman that has a natural attraction. But see, you got some guys who want a woman so bad that they're not really thinking about, uh, they're not thinking about like, you know, that she ain't gonna really want him. You always wanna deal with a woman who wants you. I've talked about that many times. You know, pay attention to the women who want you. A lot of times the guys will see a woman, she might be that baddie or dime, uh, shout out Cousin Tito, there's really a difference between them. But, uh, you know, fine to the guy. And they, they feel like they had that false impression, well, I'm gonna win her over, I'm gonna wear her down and everything. And then she finally come around and the guy think he did something, say, nah, bro. Nah, dude, bro, dude, whatever. And this goes across races, let's be very clear. Now she just settling. She just settling because that's why those are the same women you in a sexless relationship marriage with her. Those are the same women. They cheating like crazy. You know, when women settle, they the ones most likely to cheat. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be that man. All right. You know, don't if you feel like the woman's settling for you, especially, you know, you've been chasing her for a while. She's settling. Because if she really wanted you, she would have she hooked up as soon as she got with you. Or if she was with another man, when she saw you, she'll be t she, she might even tell you straight up. She's like, like I, I want to get with you, but I got this other man. You know? You want that woman who puts you as number one. You want to feel like you number one. You want to feel like you beating out other guys. That's how you want to feel. If you feel like she just settling, yeah, she might settle, but double back home one day. Double back home one day, you know? Seriously, don't, don't allow that woman to settle. Now, if you get that one, now, if you just want sex, okay, fine. But don't be the guy, don't be plan B. I put it like that, all right? Don't be plan B because you're gonna have future problems if you are, trust me. So anyway, that's all I have for now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.